Hey, what's up everyone? Greg's Gauntlet here, back with another video on the top 10 features on the new iPad Pro. So let's start off with the brains of the iPad Pro, the A10X chip. The A10X chip on the new iPad Pro is some seriously impressive silicon. It makes running even the most intensive apps like the newly released Affinity Photo a complete breeze. I can't believe we're seeing this kind of performance in such a thin and light tablet. The chip even blows the 12-inch MacBook's Intel chip out of the water. On Geekbench scores, it's even approaching the performance of the entry-level MacBook Pros, all without using a fan, uh, heating up the iPad, or impacting the battery life in any significant way. The iPad Pro is seriously a powerful computer, and it's just going to get even better with time. Okay, so let's talk about something that a lot of people have a huge issue with, and that is iPad photography. Now, I'm going to be a bit controversial here. I fully support people taking photos with their iPad. Especially with this new iPad Pro, which takes the iPhone 7's complete camera system. So, it's a 12 megapixel rear camera, but unlike the iPhone, you get a huge 10.5 inch digital viewfinder that's really helpful in composing shots. And the camera is top notch, it takes excellent photos that you can edit right on the iPad Pro with some great software. It also takes 4K video, which looks really amazing and crisp as well and you can actually shoot and edit all on the same device. With better software in the future, like a version of Final Cut Pro running on the iPad, I could really see the iPad Pro becoming an amazing filmmaking tool. But for now, it's just really good at taking excellent photos and great video. Both new iPad Pros come with the second generation of Touch ID that first appeared on the iPhone 6S. This makes unlocking the iPad instantaneous the second you place your finger on the fingerprint reader, the iPad is already unlocked. It's really fast and accurate, I'm really glad it's finally on the iPad Pro. The new iPad Pro also supports a brighter screen that features up to 600 nits of brightness. That's 50% brighter than the previous 9.7 inch iPad Pro. That makes the screen even easier to read in direct light, so you can use your iPad wherever you want. It really makes the iPad super readable in any condition. So you can't talk about the new iPad Pro screen without mentioning the new Pro Motion display technology. Pro Motion allows the iPad Pro to increase the refresh rate to 120 hertz. What that means for real world usage is that every animation, all of your scrolling, and anything else you do on the iPad Pro is super, super smooth. Not only can the iPad Pro run in 120 hertz, but the display is actually smart enough to lower the refresh rate to 60 hertz or 48 hertz to save battery life, or even lower a portion of the screen to 24 hertz or native 24 frames per second when you're watching the film, and still keep full 120 hertz on all of the other content to keep your scrolling and animations super smooth. Now surrounding that beautiful ProMotion screen is reduced bezel on the new 10.5 inch iPad Pro. The bezels are now 40% smaller compared to the older iPad Pro, and it packs a 20% bigger screen into a barely noticeable size increase from the older 9.7 inch model. This makes the tablet around the same size, but gives you a bigger screen for you to do all of your Pro applications on. Speaking of refresh rate improvements, the new ProMotion display also improves the Apple Pencil. This is the same Apple Pencil Apple announced with the original iPad Pro, but ProMotion reduces the Apple Pencil latency from 40 milliseconds to 20 milliseconds, making it 1 millisecond faster than the Surface Pro stylus. What does this mean? It means that when you're writing, the digital ink appears almost instantaneous, so it feels like you're really writing with a real pencil. It also means reduced lag and greater accuracy for drawing. I'm a terrible artist, but I asked my girlfriend to test out the iPad Pro, and as you can see, the reduced lag can be a great tool and benefit for artists. The 10.5 inch also finally adds USB 3.0 transfer and data speeds. While not a new feature for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, it is a new feature for the 10.5, so you can transfer content like photos and video faster from a compatible USB 3.0. So the 10.5 inch smart keyboard is actually a full size keyboard. It's a lot less cramped than the 9.7 inch iPad Pro keyboard, which had really small keycaps. It's not exactly full size on the edges like I said in my previous video, but it is full size where it counts on all of the main letter keys. This is a far superior typing experience in a very small form factor. So finally, the 10th feature, and this might be a little bit of a cop out, it's iOS 11. So iOS 11 I say for last because it's actually a feature that's not quite ready yet unless you download the developer beta. But I will say that iOS 11 looks super promising. It finally offers features that iPad Pro owners have been begging for, including drag and drop, improved multitasking with up to three panels, and a video. It also includes a dock that's similar to Mac OS and an actual file system for Pro users. iOS 11 looks like it will finally make the iPad Pro a true laptop replacement or a PC alternative. 
I'll definitely be covering these new features in a later video, so stay tuned for that. There you have it, those are my top 10 new features on the 10.5 inch iPad Pro. If you liked it, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, let me know what your favorite features are in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video.